Hey what's up guys, Scamfee here and welcome to this informed Douglas Costa review. The first thing you notice about this card, it is a position change. Originally in FIFA his card is central, but this card is on the left. The popular Brazilian has only just recently moved to Bayern Munich and he's already got himself an inform, which is awesome. Probably should have had an inform last week too, so that's something to mention. But anyway, let's talk about him in FIFA. Looking at his card then, it looks pretty damn good. 81 overall with an 86 pace, 86 dribbling and 83 passing. Not the best shooting, but I will come on to that very soon. The guy does have 5 star skills, which is awesome. 120k is what I paid and right now he's a pain in the ass to get hold of. Took me ages so hopefully towards the end of the week he'll be a bit easier to actually pick up off the market. As you can probably imagine with a fast winger does not have the best strength but he does have very good balance and good agility and what I love about him he's very quick to it on the ball he's got great ball control and the five star skills even though I'm not the best skiller I do like to run down the wings and just cut inside with a nice scoop which is really easy with five star skills and um, have a crack at goal and that was very easy to do with this inform Costa card. Other standout attributes include the eight 87 dribbling which you'd probably expect a um, decent dribbling on a skiller and also 85 short passing no issues with his crossing and passing to be honest as long as you pass on his left foot right foot wasn't so great but what i do want to talk about is his shooting his finishing is not good at all if you're looking for a winger that's going to finish regularly probably not going to advise picking up this inform cost because there are definitely a better bunch of alternatives that you could go for however if you are going to shoot with this guy don't go for the finesse go for the shot power his shot power is very good and it does beat the keeper you will see from most of the clips that i score with costa i'm just going for shot power and then uh, most of the time it does beat the keeper so very impressive on that aspect pace wise the guy is quick he feels a lot quicker than his car suggests and i think that's down to the dribbling and the ball control really good in the ball and really fun just to use in general as i say i was just abusing the hell out of the scoop turns and then um, they were just very effective they worked very well because he kept the ball so close to him and it made it easy just to get the shot away and put the ball into the back of the net if you're thinking about picking up this guy there are two obvious comparisons one being Ribery for a Bundesliga team and the other one being Neymar for just a Brazilian team and on both occasions Douglas Costa would finish second in my opinion Ribery is just a lot better at passing stuff like that and shooting is probably on par with Costa and Neymar Neymar is just miles better um, in all aspects in my opinion so let's talk more positive about this character I feel like I've been bashing him quite a bit in this review he actually is a very fun card and if you can get your hands on him then I do recommend trying him out because he's a fun player to use and if you're a skiller you'll probably enjoy him a lot more than me would he advise him at left forward not really because he's left-footed on the left side but if you do like to cross then maybe you'll get more out of him but um, as I say what I was using him for was to cut inside and shoot and he did that fairly well but um, as I said earlier there are a lot better alternatives if you are thinking about picking up a Brazilian or a Bundesliga left mid. So to sum up I'm going to give this informed Douglas Costa card an 8.6 out of 10. I think that's a fair rating. The things I liked about him was that he was quick, he was good on the ball, his crossing was uh, pretty good because he's left foot on the left side. Fast ass skills are a huge bonus and his ball control was very good. Negatively his finishing let him down so did his right foot and the strength. Is he worth the coins. Now, I'd say yes because he's a good position change, but there, you have got to take into consideration, for me, there are better players for the price. So if you've got plenty of coins to splash, then why not pick him up? But if you don't have that many, then um, there are better options. Like if you want a Bundesliga winger, I'd go for someone like Royce. And if you want a Brazilian one, I'd go for someone like Neymar. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the review. If you have enjoyed, remember to give a like, comment below who you'd like me to review next. Have a good day. Adios.